So what came out of it were these four types of communication that were really destructive and they could easily predict like nine out of 10 uh, couples, which one was going to make it and which one wasn't. And so the four different uh, things were contempt, criticism, defensiveness, and stonewalling. Mm. So criticism is basically when you're attacking the person's character. Um, Think of it's not, you're not talking about the behavior. You're attacking the person instead of what they're doing. So if you're doing something to upset me, you're going to be like, oh, um, sorry. Pause. You got an example there? Yes, I do have an example. Go write it down. What is it? Okay. You're so selfish. Sit. But you're so selfish uh, because you cooked and you didn't make me a plate. Mm. And it's not, what am I upset about? It's that you didn't make me a plate, but I don't need to say you're so selfish. What? How, what so what's the antidote? Instead of criticizing, to be like, you not making me a plate made me feel like you didn't care about me. You didn't take me into consideration. Okay. So that's a better way of expressing mm. needs. At the end of the yeah. day, conflict is conflict. You're going to have it. It's how you deal with with the conflict, that is going to be the biggest indicator of whether you're going to make it or not. Instead of pointing the finger, it's almost like, hey, I felt this way when you did yeah. this rather than Using you eye. did this and exactly. I'm annoyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. And so uh, contempt. Contempt is um, sneering at a person, like uh, righteous indignation. So it's like pride. Um, you're looking at the person and you're like... Um, yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. You got notes. <laughs> I'm gonna use these notes because they're do it, good. Do it, do it, do it. So you're expressing superiority. So sarcastic remarks, um, eye rolling, cynicism. So it looks like you're you're such an idiot. <laughs> of course you would do that because you're so dumb. You never Dumbass. think. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's not a. You're so stupid. I can't believe you you fucking let that happen. Exactly, mm-hmm. and these sound a little. <laughs> it sounds like oh my god, it's kind of mean, but they actually it they're happens. Pretty common, like I think of like when you talk to your friends, like sometimes you can just even talk like that. So it's easy for that to like bleed into your relationship. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I think I have an example um, with Christina. The other day, she she uh, she didn't put a pee pee pad down for the dog, <laughs> and the dog shit all over the place. But instead of me being like, "Yo, are you retarded?" That's a bad word. We don't use those, but that's why we're telling you not to use those words. Yeah. And you know what I said instead? I'm like, listen, Christina, let's talk about this because it's not the first time it's happened. Okay. I understand, you know, you're busy. It happens. And I wish I could be here. I'm working nine to five. If only I could be here to help you out. But you also have to remember that when you're gone, if she were to poop, we need somewhere that she poops on. That's why we got to remember. And I know that you're busy as well, but we got to make sure we put the pee-pee pad down. Yeah. She's like, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm like, no, it's not a big deal. You just got to make sure because if not, there's going to be shit all over the fucking floors. And then she's like, oh, I know. But I could have easily been like, are you dumb? Yeah. How many times have she shit on the floor? You know, you know you have to put that. But I didn't. I handled it in a very mature manner. You tell me, did I do a good job? No, you did a great job. So the antidote very is well. actually building a culture of appreciation and respect. Respect. Um, respect is hard to come by, especially in relationships. And I think like, I am Hispanic, so I could say this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's disrespect runs rampant. I don't know why, but I think Hispanic culture, you're so like um comfortable with each other. Mm-hmm. And you're so you could be so enmeshed that it's just like I'm so comfortable with you that I could tell you whatever I want to your face. Yeah. I could say it however I feel like it. Um, and it is what it is. I'm not worrying about like no, crossing that's boundary lines that's or anything like that. So culture. It's almost when I went to culture. when I went to Spain, um, in Madrid, I'm sure they're all the like, people in Madrid. They're probably super nice people, but the way that they talk amongst each other, they look like they're just fighting all the time. Yeah. Like they look at each other like, like mean, like mean annoyed. That you like you ask them like, oh, can I get this? And then you're like, like, I'm sorry, dude, I didn't mean any inconvenience, but it's just like that. It's like, oh, can I get the uh, the check already? And like, if a Spanish a Spanish person would be like. There you go. And they just walk away. But that's normal. Then you get, they're like, oh, here they pay and they leave. And that's normal for them. Different that's, culture, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah, you I know? I can see that. Because me, but, I'm always like, oh, yes, can I help you? Of course. But they're just like, all right, here you go. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen that. That's so the culture, yeah, it's a culture. You know? So I guess that kind of affects relationships too. No, yeah. And I think it's counter culture to build a culture of appreciation because you don't, yeah. Respect is hard to come by, but so is honor. You know, like you don't really, it's not super common when you're hearing couples argue or you're he- hearing couples talk about their partner, if they're upset, they're not watching the way they talk about yeah. their partner. It's like, oh, he's terrible. He never does this. Da, 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 da. So flipping that and 
building a culture of, hey, I'm going to honor this person because I love them and I respect them. So I'm not going to talk bad about them even when I'm upset. So putting in these practices and also not just when you're talking about them to other people, but when you're talking them to directly, like you're going to move away from criticizing, holding the things against them, and you're going to be more focused on not destroying them and honoring them when you talk to them and when you express like what your issues are with them. Yeah, I can never understand how people, they talk crap about their partners. Now, now never. looking back at it now, it just doesn't make, it, it doesn't make sense. Because it's like, if this is the person that you are choosing to be with, why would you want to now talk smack or like talk behind their back or even directly to them? Like, there's a reason why you chose this person. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to like celebrate them and like show them off? You know what I mean? It took me a while to understand that. But now that I'm thinking about it, like to, to people that are in relationships and you're talking shit behind you know, your partner's back and things like that, it's like, remember that you're also with them. So all the crap that you're talking about them, they, essentially you're talking crap about yourself because you're also right. talking all this bullshit about them, but you're also with this person. So if they're dumb, doesn't that make you an even bigger dumbass for dealing with it? But it's also like not even just talking bad about them, but it's like they're fighting and they're cursing at each other or they're mm -hmm. saying things. I mean, you see it all the time. Or like, why are you always so stupid? You always do this shit, this and this. Like, just kind of tearing people yeah. down. Like, right. it, that's yeah. such a common thing that, like, it's almost like normal. Like, oh, exactly. you're a fucking idiot. Why would you talk to your partner like that? Like, that's so... You like being spoken to like that? Like, you like it when they exactly. talk to you like would that? You be okay? How would you feel? Or if somebody talked to your mom or like that, or your dad, or whoever. Your hey, or, or, or your, girl, your sister. Or, yeah. or what this, that, with that, on that post that went super viral for us, like, oh, one day you're going to have a daughter. You want some dude to be talking to your daughter that way? Yeah. Right. And yeah. Every, every guy would have, no, 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 I would never. Of course then not. No, but whoop his ass. All right, so then why don't you start with yourself? Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And that's such a detrimental way to kind of go mm. through relationships. And so I can kind of like chip away from the foundation. Right, I got yeah. fired up. And it goes, bit. no, it goes back to self-control with, which goes back to starts with self. That's you. Like if you're not working on yourself, if you're not developing self-control on your own, don't expect for that to grow when you're with somebody. Right. Because it doesn't work like that. Yeah. yeah. No. And so. The next one is defensiveness, which is basically blaming the other person. Like, it's not my fault, taking no responsibility. So, oh, it's not my fault. We're always late. Like, you just didn't tell me on time mm. to get ready. Yeah. You got to take responsibility. <laughs> exactly. Take, take responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. So that's the antidote. I think that's so important. Like, sometimes you just got to be like, you know, like, I fuck, like, even now, like me, like, in my relationship, like, a lot of times it's like, yeah, like, I fucked up. Or we... I was driving and I go, I know the route and I could go the wrong way and we get, and add 20 <laughs> minutes to training. And she, my girl was like, she doesn't even, she won't say it. And I'm like, I know I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's mature of you though. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, Fuck. but I know it. I'm like, she's thinking I gotta say it. <laughs> like, I'm fucked up. But how would you feel if she told you like you fucked up? Would you feel, would you be upset? Or would you say, I know already. Because she wouldn't say it in a demeaning way. She was like, babe, you know, like maybe next time we should leave earlier or maybe next time follow the GPS. She's, my girlfriend is so sweet. She would not be like, oh, you fucked up. She'd be like, oh, you know, babe, maybe, maybe next time follow the GPS or whatever. But me in the moment, I'd probably be like, fuck. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I know where I'm going. <laughs> I, know, I don't need this fucking GPS. But no, you're right. You know, like take take accountability. It's okay. To, and then when you do she would, she, would always, she would always be like, oh, it's no problem, babe. Don't worry about it. She's always like that. She's, I don't, she doesn't really get mad. Weird, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm fuck up. She's like it's okay, man. Really kind. Like, she's so kind. I'm like, dude, I, I would have been. Pissed. But then, does it also help you also be a little bit more kind? Yeah. Well, I, I'm. A, I'm. I think I'm. I mean, I'm kind. I can be a little bit temperamental, but I'm. I'm a nice you guy. Said what? A, a what? Temperamental. You said a little bit. A little bit or a lot. Yeah, I have my moment. <laughs> I'm a passionate guy, but, <laughs> but, but uh, I I think I'm a sweetheart. I, I try to be, but yeah, I have my I have my moments. But with her, like, you know, sometimes I have to take myself back and like, okay, let me. I need a minute. So that's how I am. Sometimes I get like I I pull aside. I'm like, you know yeah. what? I just need a minute because sometimes you know, like you know, emotions run high. So I, instead right. of saying something that I might later regret, I'm very big on like, you know what? I'll I'll take my time or I'll, we'll talk about it later. You know, that's kind of where yeah. I am right now because that's it helps me. And that's actually a really good practice because the last one is stonewalling and that's when somebody yeah. shuts down. So I don't want to hear it anymore. You just get silent and it's like I'm not even... It used to be me. Talking. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Talking about I, it. I would just shut down and yep. be like, Yo, I can't, I, you know, I can't deal with this. Forever? Exactly. 
not forever, but like for considerable time. You know? Yeah, and you then, just wouldn't come back to it. Like you'll yeah. spend like days and let it kind of like bubble, bubble, and bubble. And the bubble, thing is, like, it's like, I wouldn't say it like, like, cause we've had this discussion with some people. Like it's one thing you say, Hey, listen, I just need a little bit. Can you give me some time? You communicate that to your partner. They can be like, okay, you know, I'll give you exactly. some time. But mm-hmm. it's another thing to just not even say anything. Just that's like, what oh, I'm asking. And that's, that's where I have been where mm-hmm. not right now, yeah. But if I need time now, I will address it. But hey, baby, you know, I just need a couple of minutes. She'll understand. Yeah. But there was times in the past where I would just not say anything. Yep. And then she like, and then they try to read my mind. Like, are you upset? Do you need anything? What can I do? And it's like the, bit, the easiest thing for you, for me to do is just to communicate that I just need some time right now. You hmm. can't do anything, but it's not on you. It's on me to communicate. That. Yeah. So that's, that's important. That's how you fix it. Right? right. Like you'll, you could say, okay, we're going to come back to this, but the important, like, I just need some time to just take a breather. I don't want to explode on you. Um, give me a couple minutes. Give me like 20 minutes. But we have to come back. You can't just leave it like, oh, ju- we'll just it'll get open. over it. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll just ignore it. Alessia, exactly. remember we've had that conversation where it's oh, like, Alessia. Do you remember Alessia? Oh, yes. Where it's like, okay, where are the boundaries? One person wants to really talk about it. The other person, well, you know what? I can't talk about it right now. So where do you set that? Remember that? Where you set the line? It's like, exactly. Well, you have to meet somewhere. You know. Yeah, I get that you need your time, but I also do want to speak about this. I'll give you your time, but I do need some sort of deadline to know that. We need to we come back to, to that. Back to and not just pretend like it never happened. Because right. then that, that like, shrugging it under the rug is also unhealthy, right? That's-